You're watching Adorama TV. Hi everybody, welcome to this week's episode of Adorama TV. Well, this week we're gonna be talking about the Gitzo Series 2 Aluminum Explorer Tripod. Now this guy is very lightweight. There is a, a carbon fiber version of this one, but we're gonna be talking about this guy today. It's about 375 bucks for this tripod. And this tripod has uh, so many different configurations that we're gonna to try to go through as many as possible. On top of this, we actually have, this is the Gitzo Series 2 Magnesium Off-Center ball head and this is about $280 for this one and these I think are paired perfectly so the series 2 ball head the off-center ball head and the series 2 aluminum tripod now first let's talk about this uh, ball head here it's called off-center because normally your ball head is actually right underneath your camera but this one is as you can see off-center and that allows you to do all kinds of wacky things with your camera um, now this will be more apparent when I start uh, putting these legs in different configurations, but this is really, really nice. You can lock this off. Now this also has a pan head so you can rotate this as well. So it's a ball head with a pan attachment and it also has a quick release. Now this quick release has a safety on it so you can't just pull it. It's not going to do that. You have to squeeze and pull at the same time so your camera can come right off the top there. All right, so that's the ball head. It's very, very nice. It's also got a little chart here to show you 360 degrees. Um, and then this is a very nice little locking mechanism for your off-center ball head. Okay, let's talk about these legs. One of the things that I noticed that's a little bit different about these legs is that uh, when you're setting the, um, the different uh, legs, normally you have some guides and they pop one, two, three into different places. Well, on the Gitzo, it doesn't. You can just put it anywhere you want and once you get it in there, you can lock it in. So you can put it exactly where you want. You don't, you're not restricted to uh, some preset angles on the legs, which is really nice. And then these have twist locks, so it's really, really quick to just uh, twist this, unlock it, twist it, and lock it back. And because it's uh, really high quality, you don't have to spin it a billion times to make sure it locks. Once you twist it, it locks right in really, really fast. Well, let's talk about uh, what this tripod does. First of all, it has a center column, uh, which comes up and down, which is very normal on a, a tripod. This guy also will allow you to go sideways with this. And this actually has teeth on this column so uh, you can set it and it locks in and it locks in really quickly and really sturdy so once you have it where you want if you're doing like macro photography or things like that you can really get this out over what you want to shoot and because you have all these different ways that you can move this off center ball head you can really configure this to be exactly where you want it to be um, the other nice thing about this and I'll swing this around here so you can see it is the bottom of this center column has a hook on it and that allows you to counterweight this. So if you have your camera bag or something and you really want to make sure this tripod is solid, and normally this works when you have this in the totally vertical position, you can put a weight on that and it's counterweighted. Um, or if you really have this out over the edge, let's put it out over here, and you've got a camera on there, you want to make sure it doesn't fall off. Well, when you get it way out there, you can also put something on here to make sure that this is going to keep your camera um, in nice locked position and it's not going to fall over. Now because you can also make these legs go just about anywhere you want, if you have this just off kilter and you really want to make sure that this isn't going to fall over, you can put your leg way out front so that it's going to hold that nice and secure. Now the other thing is because this is a horizontal column, when you lock these down, so I'll lock these down really quickly here, you can get this really close to the ground. I only do one leg really fast. So I'll get this out here, put this out. And so you have nothing underneath here and this can come really, really close to the ground. And that way you can really get your lens literally inches from the ground if you're shooting some macro stuff. You can get this over ledges, you can get it over documents, you can get it just about anywhere you can think. And so this tripod, it looks very, very simple, but it has so many different configuration options you can put your camera in just about any position that you want. So again, once again, this is the Gitzo Series 2 Aluminum Explorer Tripod. It's about 375 bucks. And then the, uh, the ball head is the Gitzo Series 2 Magnesium Off-Center Ball Head, and that's about $280. So this is a tripod that you can use to uh, get your camera in just about any location conceivable. It's gonna last you for 
20, 30 years, something like that. It's high, high quality, and it's something that you can take with you anywhere you go. It's really light and nice and lightweight, so you can put it on a backpack or something. It's going to last you for a very long time. Well, that's what we have for you this week at Adorama TV. Remember, if you have questions about photography gear, you can send those to me at askmark at adorama.com. And as usual, we have all kinds of articles about tripods and macro photography and everything else that you might use this tripod for at the Adorama Learning Center. So please check it out. Well, thanks for joining me and I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode and related videos. For all the latest photography, video and computer gear, visit adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.